welcome is day 17. How is it so close to Christmas now? I, I can't believe it. But day 17 is actually the evening and we are off somewhere exciting this evening. Max is going to see Fart Christmas. <laughs> so somewhere local to my area is doing a one-off dog meat for Christmas night. And I was like, do I? Is it a bit silly? And I thought, nah, I'll do it. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why would you pay money for your dog to meet for Christmas? And <laughs> it's not just about taking my dog to see Father for Christmas. It's like, I get enjoyment from seeing it. And like him, the thought of him seeing Father for Christmas, like he's gonna be excited to be in a new place and meet new people. It's just all things he loves anyway. Plus you get a cute picture like together. I just think it's gonna be adorable personally. He has never been to anything like it in previous years. So it is kind of exciting. I, I'm wondering whether he is gonna jump immediately on Father Christmas. Just, uh, that's enough question. Just people call it Father Christmas or Santa? Cause I kind of use a mix of both nowadays. When it was little, when I was little, I used to say Father Christmas, but now I'm kind of say Santa or Father Christmas. I, I use a bit of both. But this is the first year he's doing anything like it. So I'm wondering whether we're gonna walk in to see Father Christmas or Santa and Max is gonna immediately jump up on his lap and cause a chaos and knock over Christmas trees with his waggy tail or like, I don't know, I don't know. He gets so excited. His tail like swooshes everywhere and knocks things off shelves. And I mean, he's a giant dog, not giant, but he's, he's pretty big. He doesn't have very good spatial awareness. He doesn't realize he's as big as he is. He thinks he's still a puppy. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I am excited though. This is my little outfit that I've put on. So I've got these as well. It would be nice if you could see it. So I've got on these little blue trousers. What are you doing? I've got these little blue trousers on, this little kind of white like knitted vest and then this like little cute cardigan. And Max also has a Christmas outfit to see Far for Christmas today. Here is his outfit. Excuse me, Max, if you weren't in the way I could show it. Here is his little jumper. It's just like a little, it's very stretchy. It's very comfy. It's just a little red jumper and it's got little Santas and reindeers on them with little, some have flat noses and then some have bobble noses and it's just adorable. I really struggle to find um, like jumpers and things that fit him because in like, say like, pets at home and regular pet stores, the larges and the extra larges are still too small because it fits like round his belly, but it's not long enough to cover his whole entire back. And I found this one in B&M, which is an extra large and it fits like pretty perfectly. So actually the B&M sizing for me works better than most places. And this was only about eight pounds. I know a lot of people also might say, it's like mean to make your pets dress up in jumpers and things. He actually doesn't mind. He actually likes it. I feel like it, his fur still isn't like really long. Um, cause he had, he had a haircut two, three months ago and they went really quite short with it. So it's still not grown back to like really long. So it kind of does, I feel like it gives him a little bit of extra warmth. He does look adorable in it, but he doesn't mind. If he, if he didn't like wearing the jumpers, I wouldn't make him wear it. If I put it on and immediately he's like, nah, I want to get it off. I'd be like, okay, fine. I won't buy jumpers from now on. I know some dogs try to like pull off the jumpers and the clothing and things, and I wouldn't make him wear it if that was the case. But he just goes about his day. He doesn't even really notice it's on, so that's fine. Come here, you going to put on your jumper? See? <laughs> he immediately doesn't mind. He almost wanted to put his head in the jumper and wear it. Give me your paw. Good boy. There we go. Adorable. Now I just gotta find the hook of the harness. Oh, where did you go, Mr. Mads? Oh, you look so cute. Come over here so they can see. Ah, oh, adorable. Adorable. You look so cute. Can you turn here? That's it. That's it, sit down. Look, look how cute. <laughs> look at that, it's got the little reindeers and the Santa's on it. Oh, you look adorable, you do. Oh, thank you. Do you want to go 
meet Father Christmas. Do you and Nikki go see Father Christmas? He's so excited. He doesn't understand where he's going, but the fact he's got his harness and collar on means he's going somewhere. And that much is, a, is like the most exciting thing in the world. <laughs> Enter the car park for your destination. Feels weird coming here in the dark, doesn't it? Yeah, I've never seen it in the dark. It's like we shouldn't be in the theme park right now. I've got the wrong day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the wrong day, we're just driving up here. We're dinosaurs the, come to life. We can't go security in a minute, but I like it. Look, there's a dinosaur. Where is it? Out your window. Oh. Ah. I was recording the lights. <laughs> How do you know we're here? I don't know if there's a Christmas tree. So I forgot to actually say where we're meeting Father Christmas, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. We've actually come out to the dinosaur park. Now when I was little it was called the dinosaur park but now it's called Raw. And dogs are never allowed here besides this one off night tonight where we will be meeting. Father Christmas in the dinosaur park. So I don't know if you can kind of see behind me, but there is a big old T Rex up here and a massive Christmas tree. Max! 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 So we're just gonna head on in. Where um yeah, it's, it's weird having Max here because dogs are never allowed in here, but let's go find Father Christmas. <laughs> What's that thing Max got? Um, it was a stamp for his passport and every oh. time we find an elf we get another stamp. Oh I see. Like a real elf or a... Like those elves. <laughs> He loves tuggy oh. toys, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Tuggy toys and tennis balls. Wow. Oh, 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 Max! oh, Oh, 
for Christmas. Oh, she has a gift for wow. her yes, she does. So just follow the magic path and you'll find her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've been great. Thank you. It's very exciting, isn't it? You're young, you're young boy. Yeah, he's almost three. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> you are beautiful. You've been super excited to meet everybody tonight, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> have you got blue paws, paw control fine? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, what type of dog are you? He is a golden doodle. And he had his bath this morning, so he's extra fluffy. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> That's nice and bright. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh wow, well, Max. Yes. Oh, oh, Max. Oh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> he's really calmed down there, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's, just, he's just taking it all in, isn't he? So there's lots to see him do. Oh, yeah. Doodles! Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a nice Christmas. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? That's a great idea to give out poo bags. Yeah. In case anyone forgets them. Hey, Max! Max! <gasps> Look, Gingerbread House! That's where the candy came from, too. Gingerbread House and the candy came from. Wow! <laughs> Wow, look at the baubles! <laughs> this is so great. Do you think this is the one the people come through on Sparkle, the walk? Maybe. It must be the same. You get a picture, Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going in an ice cave! Look, too far for Christmas this way. Wow! Oh, I think it's in there. Okay, <laughs> let's go this way. <laughs> Not good. Please come in. Please come in. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he's got it. <laughs> it's in his mouth. 
He's not very really good at catching normally. That's it. Get your ball. That's it. Good boy. <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> what are you, are you singing Christmas songs in there? I think you must. Why have you been singing Christmas songs? Tuggy toys is his favourite, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I it's strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. On the naughty list again now. Is it alright if I stand here? Am I in the way? Yeah. So you can go around behind him if you want. That's okay. Oh! Good boy. Right, okay. in this way. So do you want to come stand sort of in yeah. front of me? And get him to pass it. Goodbye, Maxie. Wait. Oh, we're staying in love. Oh, good boy. Oh. Well done, Max. That's brilliant. Oh. Oh, you like I it. it. <laughs> Do you want me to take one of you, Chloe, if you stand behind him now? Okay, yeah. And then I'll get. Sorry. Oh, you're right. Let's take that down. Let's take that down. Oh, Wait, so <laughs> ready? Max! Max, look at Nana! Oh, thank you. What have you got there, Happy? Wow! Oh my goodness! You have been a good boy! Oh, you're happy about that. He's very happy. He's enjoyed 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Wow. Isn't it lovely? That's really nice. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? Oh, so nice. Really nice. I thought we were just gonna come in. I thought we were just gonna come in and see Father Christmas. Hello! Oh! Yeah. Hello. Told me he can get his own cappuccino. He can. It'll be his first ever one. Oh, right. Your first ever cappuccino, won't it? I better get him sorted out. <laughs> Are you excited for your first Whoa. cappuccino? <laughs> yes, a lot of people. Everyone say says that. that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Your first cappuccino. Whoa. Oh, look at that. You what about like yourselves? That, Can I get your hot chocolate? Um. Boy, is that yummy. I don't understand all the. Did you enjoy that? Oh, that's so good, was not it? Do you want to say something? Not yet. I don't know what to say. I bent my tongue. It's got my hot chocolate. I haven't tried it yet. But I can't believe Max has got a full stocking and he got the other treats on the way. Like he got the little biscuits and the yeah. uh, poo bag holder and he just had his first ever puppuccino, the stocking and I can look at the photo of Final Christmas later. Oh, it's just so It nice. looked like where I was standing from and it looked lovely. Oh, it's just so nice. It really was. Make uh, make you feel like you want to cry. I was just, it was so, it was just beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We're coming at some time during the week for little brother, so it will kind of be the same experience for him to meet Father Christmas then. Uh, we're also doing like an actual dinosaur park day there as well. So we're going to have a look around the dinosaur park trail and um, like the indoor play area and just like see the actual dinosaurs and things on that day as well. So yeah, that will be an exciting little experience for him and I'm excited to see the dinosaur trail because I haven't been here in years but tonight look how happy he looks so he's doing that smile thing I know he's smiling he started off super Max. excited but he's kind of calmed down a bit towards the end <laughs> yeah so he was still so that's really excited. good because it wears him out he's been so excited the whole time round but he's loved it haven't he this has been so much better than I thought it would be as well we are back from Max's Meet the Christmas experience at the Dinosaur Park and it was so much better than I thought it would be. So what I thought it would be is I thought we'd turn up, get in at like some sort of queue, meet Father Christmas, maybe get like a treat or a toy or something and then go home. And that's basically what I thought it was. It was so much better. It was like this like whole experience and like a little like light up walk through like the little like foresty area and there were all these like different elves that we met and it was it was just amazing. So just a kind of like a little run through of what happened. So we turned up at our time slot. There was basically one elf that we started off with who walked us to where the trail began, where the light trail began. Then we got a paw sport. Where is my paw sport? Here it is. So we started off on the first and second elf gave us our paw sport. And then every time we came across a new elf on the light trail, they stamped the passport. And so I think we got, there's four in total. So there's a Santa, a reindeer, a tree and a gingerbread man. And every time we met another elf, they gave us a little stamp in his paw sport. And it's so cute, there's his little name on there and everything. So that's what happened. Then the third elf we came across gave us, if I can find it in this, okay. The third elf we came across 
gave us this tiny little bag with some gravy bones inside, which won't last very long, will it, Axon? But we've got some nice little gravy bones. And by this point, I thought, oh, that's nice. Like, we're getting, like, little stamps and things as we go along. And they gave us the little treat bags. And I thought, okay, maybe they're going to give us, like, little treat bags as you go along. But when we got to the next elf, they gave us a poop bag holder. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's pretty good. So they said we can choose different colours. I think they had, like, black, blue pink, yellow, but I thought pink is like really bright and cute. So I chose the pink one. It's just this little, like pink little holder with like pink poo bags inside. <laughs> it's very cute for a poo bag holder. So I've got that and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Then the next elf we came across, we got a ball. We got this like, green squeaky ball, <laughs> didn't we? Do you want your green squeaky ball? Okay. And by this point I was like, well, that must be it. Maybe there's like one more thing, like a treat or something at the end. So the last thing we went in to meet Father Christmas, who made like lots of fuss. So, I mean, all the elves were lovely. They were, they were just lovely. They were chatty, friendly, like, you know, very like cheerful. And they all had little elf names and they were like very like, um, very friendly with the dogs and like just made a lot of chitter chat and things like that. And it was great because on this whole light trail that we were doing, we were completely on our own. They kind of separated it by probably five, 10 minute intervals. So when we were on say the second elf, then the people were starting on the first elf. So when we moved to the third one, they came to the second and kind of so forth. So we saw no one else on our entire trail. It was just me, mum and Max walking along, having this experience with every single elf and like things like that. They like took their time. It wasn't like, it wasn't rushed or anything. It was just like, they took their time to like chat and like, and like have lots of cuddles and fuss, didn't they? Anyway, when we got to the end, we obviously saw Father Christmas and we met him and he had his photo taken with him. They had like a little camera thing. So they took a photo. I'll insert the picture of um, Max and Father Christmas on the screen now, which is absolutely adorable. He hopped up into this little like, it was like a little stand with a giant dog bed on it. And Max just like hopped on. And then the, the last elf with Father Christmas come out with this stocking. I thought, oh my gosh, like we've got the little gravy bones, we've got the poo bag, we've got the little tennis ball. I thought it was going to be a little treat at the end. No, it's a stocking. <laughs> so we got to bring home this entire stocking, which by the way, feels very nice. It's a very well-made stocking. It's like got all these dinosaurs on it with like presents and fairy lights and ice skates. It's like this massive well-made stocking. This stocking in itself is like very nice. And then inside of the stocking, we got this little toy, which is like a little cookie, um, a little cookie monster squeaky toy. I don't know if all the stockings they get is different or whether they all have like this same toy in it, but he got this little cookie, <coughs> cookie monster squeaky toy. <laughs> Did you hear your cookie? And then the last thing that we got in the stocking, it's this massive bag of treats. Look at that. A massive bag of treats. There's like not just a few in here. Like overall, overall, we got the bones. We got this. We got the ball. We got the stocking. We got the cookie. And the massive bag of treats. We got all of that stuff. All of these gifts and presents. This is a massive bag of treats. This is 400 grams worth of treats in here. First, when I, went, when, when I was talking to you this morning before I went, I was like, it's 15 pounds. Like, it, it is like a bit pricey for your dog to go see Father Christmas sort of thing. But for the experience, not just for Max, but for me as well, I thought I, I will get enjoyment from seeing him. I thought, yeah, I mean, it's a little much, but it's worth it. But now I'm home and I've had the experience, it is most definitely worth it. Overall, we were the entire experience, I thought was gonna take five, 10 minutes, 50 minutes. We were in there for 50 minutes, which didn't feel like 50 minutes at all. Like it went by so quickly. But 
it was just it was just amazing so now it's like 15 pounds for this amazing experience you get all of these treats and stuff which is well i mean that's quite expensive on its own for like like toys and treats and things and like that's a good chunk of money on its own and the stocking and things as well like all of that then you got to meet the farm christmas you got the photos you had the light trail through the forest you had all this fun conversations and chats with all these elves and then we got a hot chocolate at the end and a puppuccino for max and all of that for 15 pounds was amazing it was the first time they've done it this year and they said like the management had a lot of like um uh, they were a bit concerned about like the dog day and things like that but from the feedback they were getting at the end everybody was saying the same thing how amazing and fun and great it is and we hope they do it next year it was just this is one of the most fun days that i've had this december it was amazing and if it comes back again next year which hopefully it does i will definitely be going again next year it's sold out this year and next year now like we've all had the experience i feel like next year is going to sell out even quicker but yeah it was just such a fun amazing experience and it is most definitely worth the money definitely doggy yeah doggy went to see father christmas today and who's gonna meet father christmas next week uh, me you you're gonna meet him next week are you excited yeah yeah are you going to tell him what you want for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? And then you get, and maybe you get a present at the end. Oh, oh. And we're going to go to the dinosaur park and uh, see all those big dinosaurs. And, and get a toy. Yes, and you'll get a toy. Are you going to look forward to seeing all the dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah? <gasps> okay, well, oh. that's about it. Not that, Baba. That's Doggy's presents. Thank you. This is what Father Christmas gave Doggy today. Oh. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And if you are thinking about doing it next year, definitely do. It's definitely worth it. Bye-bye. That's, <laughs> that's all for now. Take care and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>